Hi there, Derpy Moose 99 here with episode 4 of series 4, and this is Duck Pond. And let's just have a look around here. Um, food graph is looking good. One house short, but we're building one. Uh, 24 people. Health is not bad considering. Happiness not bad considering. Only issue I can see at the moment is we're a bit low on firewood, and um, we have 21 precious stone left. But we have no iron, so we got two people in the iron mine here. I think what I'll do is I'll actually take the blacksmith out. And <clears throat> Excuse me, and it's up to per people in the iron mine to three there. Let's see if we can get a bit going there. Alrighty. Um, mini workshop, yeah, okay. Um, do we have any leather or anything? 40, okay. Well, let's get this house built. I'm gonna have to watch the iron and the tools here. At some point, we'll have to shift somebody back. Um, how many people do we have in there? Only two. Eh? Okay. okay, there's the home built. Let's take our builder out. Um, <laughs> let's maybe get a few coats going here. See if we can use up that stock. And keep remembering to build out over here. So I think the philosophy of the town here is going to be... What goes on land is only what's absolutely required to go on land. And as much as possible, we're going to do a dock-based build here. So, that's my view at the moment, anyways. There isn't actually very much land here. If we look at the big map quickly. Little chunk over there we're going for, but that's not very big. It's maybe two and a half times larger than what we currently have, which isn't very much. Up in the northwest corner and the southeast corner, down the southeast corner, and then, yeah, there's a few chunks around, but it's a very large map, and it's going to be hard to reach those, so. Yeah, so I think basically we're going to be building on the docks here for the most part. All right, we've got 12 iron, so let's take somebody out of the mine here, and let's start up in our blacksmith again. Now we are right out of firewood, and we're right out of laborers and builders, too. Hmm. Well, that ain't good. Um, I have to take somebody out of the mine here. Just so we have a laborer, because we have a school teacher here. Hmm. I would like to get a second person in here making firewood, but that seems a bit iffy at the moment. I wonder... Might have to take somebody out of the forestry node here. See if we can get a little bit more firewood going. Well, only 10 tools, and we're not really doing that great on firewood either. Hmm. Interesting. I think we need, really need to get some reeds and stuff going. But I suspect well, there's a 13-year-old there, 17-year-old student there. Okay, and oh, we got nomads again here. Let's see, are you a nomad? You are not. 
See, there's nowhere around the board here. No, and no. All right. So, I think they're going to be somewhere strange, so we're not going to take them, unfortunately, here. Sorry. The other day on Twitch, we came up for a theory on why that's doing that. Uh, for those of you that missed it, if I had taken those nomads, they would have been over on land somewhere and would have died because there's no way to get to us, our, our town. Um, we think it might be connected to the behavior of this bitty notice board. So one of the things I'm actually going to do is take that out and replace it with a different town hall and see if we get the same bug, of, bug effect with nomads or not. That's the current theory anyways. Okay, the workshop is out of leather, and we have 27 coats in stock, so that's pretty cool. Now, we have four laborers, which is pretty good for us. Um, iron is definitely an issue, so I'm going to put at least one more person in there. And what else do we have? We have somebody in there, I'll leave in there. Um, let's have a look. What are we doing for housing here? It says we're one short. Let's have a quick run through here. Yeah. Hate to say it, but I think that person is going to be moving on shortly, so... Maybe we won't worry about the house so much right now. Although, you know, we could uh, build the dock home. And transfer people over there. That might be the way to go. Logs are not terrible at the moment. in there we had a couple more people graduate here let's have a quick look here and we seem about right right now so let's take the builders out let's put that person back in the forester here and let's remember to keep building on the dock over here So there's a storage there. I think what I want to do, I'll do the... Hmm. I don't think I'll build it, but I want to leave this space. Overkill on storage is never really a bad thing. Okay. So what I'm thinking is put in some uh, some reed farms here. And one workshop, I think. We gotta, gotta get on top of our fuel situation. And what we might want to do is reserve the logs just for building. So let's get some fire bundles going with reeds to use as fuel. And we'll stop the, the firewood chopping. At least for the moment here.
Yeah, these guys are having a hard time keeping up here. Well, let's take a builder out and get somebody doing reeds here. And let's put a firm cap of a million on miscellaneous there. All right. Um, so Carlo passed. So I think we can get rid of this tent actually. Okay, 15 year old there. And I'm just micromanaging the houses at the moment here. I wanna make sure two things, I wanna make sure we grow as quickly as possible and I wanna make sure we ma migrate the houses over to the dock, so. Well, we have zero iron, but we must be just getting enough of a trickle to keep the tools around 10 or 12 here, so that's okay. Still got 23 coats, so that's good too. Health is dropping a little. I wonder if that's... Um Maybe put another person at some point into the gathering hut here. Hmm. Need some more people to graduate here. Okay, there's one person there. Now, do they need a house or are they okay? There's a 16 year old there. Nope, it's probably a student that was already in a relationship here. Um, let's put a builder in. Let's maybe take one out of the fishing dock and put that in the gathering hut. Try and balance the diet, the diet out a bit better. The fishing dock is all about protein, of course, the gatherer does fruit and veg, so. Yeah, we dropped from like four, four and a half or whatever we were. And there's our second reed farm, but nobody to work at at the moment. Getting quite a few reeds here, so. Need 12 more logs for the workshop there. better than I was in the first couple episodes anyway, so fairly stable at the moment. Alright, um, no reason to have a builder at the moment. Let's put somebody in the workshop working on fire bundles. Um, let's just check housing just for a moment here. Okay, we got a bunch of 13 year olds. Oh, there's a 17 year old that needs a house, okay. Alrighty. Um, yeah, let's just keep building here for now. I'm going to have to put that builder back in. There we go. Alright, the person in there 
castle. Okay. Well, if we got the logs, we could build three more dog houses, but, uh, wow. We're gaining ground, but it's super slow here at the moment. Oh, world's shortest road here. And the tools are actually inching up. We have 18 tools now. Fuel is kind of dicey. Food is okay. Hmm. Awesome job on the workshop there, buddy. Um... <laughs> Well, we're going to have a bit of a new look here. Well, that's the first derp I've noticed today anyways. Hmm. Just another dirt bit. Alrighty. 19 tools, 21 coats. Um, zero iron. Up to a mass of 40 logs, so that's pretty good. Okay, we're starting to make fire bundles now, so that'll help. Actually, what we might do, let's shut down this here. And let's fire up this reed farm. And let's put two people in here. Okay, so what that'll do is it'll reserve the log strictly for building here, which will help. Um, let's have a look at housing here. 16-year-old there. Comes some 16-year-olds right waiting, <laughs> waiting to graduate here. All right. Well, let's rebuild a few more houses here. I don't have a builder right now, but... Okay, so there's that one. This one. It's amazing how fast the log supply goes up when you stop chopping firewood there. And it looks like our fire bundles are doing okay too. That's the most fuel we've had for a while. Although a bunch of it just disappeared. <laughs> I guess winter hit. Uh, keep an eye on that. Yeah, 
I'm not gonna change that workshop. That's fine the way it is. Alrighty, here. Tools are at 15, logs are at 90. Fuel is still kind of iffy. What actually do we have for reeds? Do we have a ton of reeds? 265. Hmm. Well, let's build a couple of those houses there. In fact, let's build four here. And then let's think about adding another workshop and some more reeds. Um, the other thing we should do here, I think, is let's just plunk in... Where is it here? Doc Chicken Breeder. Maybe right about there. That'll take a while to build. We need 12 eggs out of the gathering hut there. Now, are you by yourself or is that a break up there? Yeah, you might be by yourself. Let's just keep you open for the moment. Okay, let's destroy one of these tents over here. Okay, there we go. If we want to move everybody over, we need one more, I think. Let's get, that, get rid of this tent here. takes us through the winter it should be okay I have no idea how much fuel the tents use versus what the houses use I think in real life I think if you were in a tent you'd probably burn more firewood but I don't know how the game models it so all right, now that's cleared off here. Can we actually fit a house in here? Yeah, let's do that. No eggs yet in the chicken breeder. Um, food isn't great, so... Why don't we up that to four in there?
to move up and move out of that tent there, but we're gonna have to build another house here. Um, four houses is a little bit long way to go without a cross piece, so let's do a cross piece there and maybe we'll build a house there. Getting closer and closer here, but that's a long way to go. Alright, once this house builds, we'll get rid of that last tent there. Fisherman gather, hunter gather, miner. You know, we probably could add a few more houses here, maybe. Hmm. To really think about building this marketplace, too. How's our school doing? Five students, okay. Well, we're in winter, and we have over 500 fuel, so that's the best we've done for a while. Food is pretty low, though. Uh, mm -hmm. Not sure what happened there, but I'm going to actually destroy this tent here. Let's see what happens. Um, and you, are you... Yeah, okay. That's where you should be. So what we need to do here... Yeah, there you go. Now we need another 95 logs for this market, but we have it, so I'm actually gonna... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take the builder out and put the person in the fishing dock here. Food is pretty dicey at the moment. Um... How many reeds do we have? Yeah, I can't really take a reed grower out. We're just barely keeping even there. Hmm. I need more people. Houses are good. Health isn't super great. Yeah, food graph is plummeting. Mm. I don't really want to take anybody out of the iron mine. Well, next available person goes in the fishing dock, I think is the plan. How many people do we have in the hunting lodge? Only one, eh? Jack and Jill start running on the edge here. Now there's a laborer, so let's put somebody in there. Now, does that mean we need a house, or... Or are we good? We're good for the moment. Fuel is actually really good, over 600. Food is really dicey. Hmm. Well, we do have Reed, so why don't we put one of our old friends here, our hunting blinds in. Oh, and that fits right there. I like that placement a lot, right beside storage, right near the houses.
Uh, hmm. Well, I'm gonna take a person out of the forester. Let's get this built here. Six food, thirteen food, that can't be good. Okay, let's take another forester out, put them in the hunting lodge here. Okay, gatherers maxed out, hunting lodges maxed out. Put one more in there. I hate doing this, but we're kind of dicey on food here. All right, that's maximum food production for the moment. So let's see what that does for us here. Our tools are actually up to, th oh, well, 39. That's pretty cool. We're out of coats, though. So how much leather do we have? Um, oh, we have a bunch of fur there. Um, 44 leather, okay. Well, why don't we take out the blacksmith for a minute here and... Have them do hide coats here. We're heading into winter. Um, almost 800 fuel. Food is still really iffy, even with all that extra firepower there. Hmm. Well, let's put another hunting blind in, or at least start it anyways. How's this one actually doing? 400, that's pretty good for starters. You know, considering that just went in. Yeah, 700 food, wow, okay. No, I assume we're okay for housing. I haven't checked for a while. Yeah, okay. 16-year-old there, though. 16-year-old there. 15 year old hey okay, I think our tents are all gone now except for this one here okay we just had a, gr a graduate there let's get rid of that tent and get that marketplace built and think about Our food is slowly bouncing back here. Let's have a look at the graph here. Yeah. Okay, there's another graduate there. Okay. Okay, there's nomads again here. I don't see anybody around there. No, that's a child. All right, 
We're gonna have to say no. Yeah, maybe when all this building is done, I'll, I'll nuke out that uh, notice board and put something else in. Yeah, let's balance this out a bit better. We'll go two and two there. I do owe people back into the forest though at some point. And there's the dock market. Put one person in there. I think the market makes sense now because we got a lot of houses over here. It'll make things a little bit more efficient. Yeah, iron is low. We don't have a blacksmith, but tools are okay. Coats are doing okay. Used up our leather, I think. Um, that's quite a few extra people, so let's see where we are with uh, with housing here. Okay, there's a girl there. Alright, so I saw three girls, uh, which means we need three houses here. And... Might be wise though to prioritize first this second hunting blind here. And let's maybe put a couple people back in here, make me feel better. Okay, there's our hunting blind. Um, 1273. Let's actually staff that. Okay, that should have taken care of the food problems, at least for the short time here. That itchy. Um, there's one house built. So far, out of the uh, out of the gatherers' hut here. Sooner or later, though, we should get some. Yeah, that's already twenty-four percent full. That's pretty good. Oh, we got mountain oysters from somewhere. <laughs> I wonder where. Alrighty here. Oh, I can't forget to do our cross piece here. Where are we here? I haven't added on to here for a while, bad boy. Oh, crap, no labors here. Um... Yeah, we keep running out of reeds here too, and we want to do we want to do other things with reeds. So I think what well, actually what well, I want to do here is add some more reeds farms in. Maybe only one for now. And I think we should start thinking about a trading dock. Although I'm not sure what we're gonna trade. Not really going to get a steady stream of feathers out of here. 
I mean, that's a good duck meat production. But feathers, we kind of need these chicken breeders for that. And we need eggs, so... Which came first, the chicken or the egg, right? I wonder what we could scrape together here. Well, that's something to think about too here. We should probably put a dock bridge in here. So let's just quickly do that. Now, of course, that means I gotta remember where they are. Boat bridge. And we're gonna need to step down before that, I think. Down built, it's actually built the boat bridge here. That just makes it so that the trader, <clears throat> the trading boats can pass underneath the dock there. All right, where are we in housing here? We do have the one extra house for the moment, so that's fine. Hmm. Travel time. Walk all the way and tap it twice here. That's a, that's a good example of why travel time is so important. Bump the microphone here. Watch the builder come out. Tap, 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 run back home. All right, there's the pig timer. Let's go a little bit longer here. Not an action pack episode, I know, but uh, carefully shepherding this little town here. Oh, you yeah. know. Now we have 29 stone, so our stockpile of stone actually grew a little bit. Um, we're out of tools here. Derpy, derpy, derpy. Get in there. Um, let's actually put two people in there. actually got it built cool have to do a stair back up there um got another reed farm that's gonna build here don't really have the people for it though right now um one person without tools not the end of the world we have seven tools in stock now Although, uh, yeah, let's take somebody out of here. Put somebody back in the mine here. So that leaves us two laborers here. All right. That might be a good place to leave it here. Um, we're doing pretty good now. Our food is way up there. In fact, let's run through the graph here. Yeah. Good recovery there, I would say. Um, we have this extra house we'll have to deal with in a minute or next episode. 
And from an inventory basis, let's just see what we have a lot of here. A lot of fish, a little bit of flowers here. Fire bundle. Yeah, I think on the next episode, I'm going to build a trading dock. Um, and not have any grandiose plans for the trading dock, but just maybe get some eggs, get some rice, stuff like that would be really good. And I think between the flowers and a uh, few things here we can trade. Maybe a little bit of firewood here. All right, we'll get that going next time. Um, we've got our boat bridge. And we're, you know, like almost over there. So I think next episode we should easily achieve the far bank here. Or the near bank, I should say. And we'll see what we're going to build over there. So what I foresee here is a bunch of um, reeds, a bunch of rice, a bunch of chickens, some dock traders, some driftwood scavengers. Um, we'll do dock-based... Uh, Herbalist and stuff like that. If we get rice, we'll do some rice wine, maybe. And over here is going to be mines against the mountains here. And we'll have to see what else we really want to do here. I'm thinking some fish smoking, fish salting, that kind of stuff. Um... Fruit and veg is going to be hard to come by, so we can do protein on the dock with a fish. And we can do um, grain on the dock with a rice. So we might throw in a couple of orchards and a couple of farms down here, just so we can get a balanced diet going. We can also trade for stuff in the trading docks as well, too. But anyways, I think I'll um, stop rambling here. That's the end of episode four of Duck Pond. And I'm Derpy Moose 99, and this is Banished with Mega Mod 9. Cheers.